welcome everybody. Welcome back to the Epic Flight Academy. This is a continuation of the Private Pilot Ground School. My name is Mike Thompson. Now remember, to be successful in Epic's Private Pilot course or any ground school course, you cannot just watch these videos. Watch these videos in conjunction with studying Epic's online learning program. And then thirdly, be sure to review all of this material in a one-on-one -on -one ground oral with your flight instructor. So today's lesson is all about spins, spinning the airplane. Now, spins are often a source of anxiousness for both students and instructors. Couple of things to remember about spins. Many airplanes are certified to spin intentionally. And there's no need for anxiousness about spinning in a training airplane that's certified for spins when you have an instructor who's capable and trained in spins. Also remember that none of us should be spinning these airplanes unless we're working on our flight instructor certificate. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. So, why do we learn about spins? Well, because it is possible to spin the aircraft unintentionally if we're not well trained and paying attention. And that's the purpose of this video in this course. Your flight instructor will train you thoroughly on stall and spin awareness and avoidance. So, let's get started. What is a spin? We define spins as an aggravated stall resulting in the aircraft descending in a corkscrew path. Well, that's a pretty accurate definition, but it doesn't really make perfect sense. What do we mean by aggravated stall? Okay, remember, we already know what a stall is. The wing of the aircraft has exceeded its critical angle of attack. Now, aggravated simply means that one wing is more stalled than the other wing. Well, we wonder, how could this happen? Remember our ailerons? When our ailerons are displaced, in this example, we show a wing with an aileron down. The down aileron wing may have a larger angle of attack than the up aileron wing with a smaller angle of attack. So both wings could be stalled, but one may be a little more than the other. That's an aggravated stall. Now, remember, in order to spin the airplane, it must be stalled. If I'm descending rapidly in a corkscrew path and the aircraft is not stalled, it is flying in a descending steep spiral. And your flight instructor will work with you on what we call unusual attitude recoveries. Again, I know sometimes we're a little bit anxious when we hear about unusual attitudes and downward paths. Nothing to be anxious about. Your instructor will work with you on that. The airplane must be stalled in order to spin. Now, if we stall the airplane and we aggravate the condition with our ailerons deflected, and then we introduce some rotational force around the vertical axis, we'll cause the airplane to spin. Now, how do we introduce that yawing motion around the vertical axis? Yes, exactly, the rudder. So, once we've gone into the spin, we're going to see that there are three phases. Phase number one, incipient. What this means is the aircraft has stalled and is starting to increase rotation around its longitudinal axis and is starting to increase rotation around its lateral axis, that means it's pitching down, and 
and is starting to increase rotation around its yaw axis. That means we've had some rudder input. So the incipient phase, the aircraft is stalled and is increasing in pitch, roll, and yaw rates. The incipient phase for most aircraft is typically anywhere from one half to one and one half turns, commonly about one turn. Now, once the aircraft has settled down into this steady rotation around all three axes, remember it's still stalled. It's stabilized in this rotation around all three axes. That is the fully developed phase or fully developed spin. And then the third phase is recovery. Now we're ready to recover from this spin. What do we do? The FAA has in an advisory circular 6167 a spin recovery technique. And flight instructors have taken this technique and broken it down into a four step acronym called PAIR. P A R E. Step one, P, power reduction. Pull the throttle back to idle. Step two, A, ailerons. Neutralize the ailerons. Now think back to what we said earlier. The aircraft must be stalled and in an aggravated condition. Where is that aggravation coming from? Usually aileron displacement. So step two, ailerons neutral. Okay, step three. Remember, the aircraft must be rotating around its vertical axis. So step three is R. Rudder opposite the direction of rotation until rotation stops and E, elevator. Elevators forward to reduce the angle of attack. Remember, the aircraft must be stalled in order to spin. A stall is exceeding the critical angle of attack. So step four, E for ailerons, for, uh, E for elevators, elevators forward, reduce the angle of attack. Okay, here's a review question for, uh, for our lesson on spins. Uh, how would one define an incipient phase of the spin? Well, folks, that's it for today. See you next time.